it's Jenny from Harmony Head Wraps and today I want to just do a really quick sign article tutorial um, this is the wrap I'm wearing today and I posted it on our group and if you're not already in it it is Harmony Head Wraps community and chat on Facebook um, where you can get tutorials get sneak previews of new releases, get exclusive discounts, and of course make new friends. And, but yes, here we go. So this is it, and I've been asked for, somebody said that, um, do we have a tutorial on sign articles because um, she's always found them quite tricky to wrap. So I thought I would just come on and show you how I've done it. So this is, this is actually not a pin we sell. This is from a shop called Enwrapped run by the lovely Rivka and I'm just going to show it to you because it's absolutely glorious it's textured and it's just on a little crocodile clip like this and it just is a wonderful accessory and I'm really happy I have one so um her website is enwrapped e-n-w-r-a-p-t dot co dot uk um so if you don't already know about her shop go check her out Rivka is absolutely lovely but anyway so here we go so this is the tickle without the pin and this is the side ruffle on the side which I will also show you um though Rivka has got a tutorial on that thank you Rivka for the tutorial and um, so I'm going to pull this undone so the trick with a signer is to get it set up right at first so this is this is one of ours it is on the website it is the blue classique signer and it's got so this is our classique fabric which is a jersey but it's leatherette it's got a foil print on it which gives it this lovely leather look um, and then we've got some blue lace on it and the back panel is made from one of our all the glitters scarves which is it's got these lovely pin pricks of silver on it and even though we call it glitter it won't make a mess everywhere it's not like you get it out and all these bits of glitter fall everywhere um no 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 these are you know I, I have actually tried to to pick these off and it's really really hard so it's um this is a hundred percent cotton and you, yeah, you can see there on the screen that it's just got this really subtle but lovely sparkle to it. Um, so yeah, if you don't know, a sign article is, sign art is the Hebrew word for apron, I believe. Um, and so it's got this apron panel. So doo -doo -doo, there we go, <laughs> it's an apron if you really wanted to. Um, and then it's got these two long tails or arms and it's just an easy, easy way to get an elaborate looking wrap without um, having to have any particular skill in, in, in tying it. So as with any normal wrap, we just, we don't have to fit it to our head. So this is actually going to be a little bit longer. You are going to be left with a little bit of this. This is called the panel and you are going to be left with a little bit of panel at the bottom. But I will show you what to do with it. So I, I'm wearing a mini S shaper, which is probably half stuffed. Um, you, but you, as with anything, you can wear any type of volume with a sign up, but I prefer to kind of go low to medium with it. And then we're just going to bring that round. And I tend to tie a knot because you're not tying a full scarf, you're only tying the width of the tail. You can can't really notice the knot as much as in a, on a full scarf so even if you get headaches you might you might want to try knotting it but obviously you can you can just cross it over it just makes it a little bit harder to to smooth this out and then what you want to do I'm going to turn around and hopefully you can see this you want to smooth you want to smooth this out and just gently gently pull each bit in points across just to get that pulled evenly down and smooth and that is that is one of the main tricks to getting a sign art tie properly and you can just just take your time with it so, 
And then now this particular um, tickle has got one leather on one side, one leather on another side, and then the lace is actually, it is sewn here, but it is separate here. So obviously you've got flexibility of three different tails to do whatever you want with. So what I'm going to do, and what I did originally on that picture, is this. I'm going to wrap one of these across here, and it's literally just like tying a regal wrap. You're just going to bring it over, bring it round, and tuck it in underneath there. Then you're going to do the same here. And I'm going to actually pull that a bit further back. The lovely thing about this fabric is you can create some lovely texture on it if that's what you want to do. And then pull it around like this. And then what I did with this was with the side rustle, ruffle, ruffle, ruffle <laughs> um, tutorial. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my finger through this pass here and you're going to go and you're going to ruffle it so you're going to snake it like that. Um, doo -doo -doo. Pull it all the way through so you can see it's going like that, like that, like that and then like this. I mean, obviously, if you wanted to, you could just bring this lace sash just round like the other two. Um, and then all I did, so we've got a pin. Obviously, any pin will do. You don't even need to use a pin. And then I did this. And what you do with... Oh, see, this is what's left of the panel. I, what I forgot to do earlier is I would have just tucked that in on the first go of the first leather... Um, tail so the first tail you tied round I've tied that round and then hidden it but I've just I've just tucked that up there and then there you go I hope that was helpful bye